At first glance, this animal looks very similar to those furry friends you may have at home. But as you look closer, you'll notice this is no ordinary dog. This is the red wolf. It's a member of the canid family, which includes 14 types of mammals, including wolves, foxes, coyotes, and yep, you guessed it, domestic dogs. In fact, the wolf is the ancestor of all dogs, both big and small. The red wolf is the most endangered canid in the world. At one time, they roamed all throughout the southeastern United States, from Pennsylvania to Florida and as far west as Texas. By 1980, this beautiful animal was completely extinct in the wild, but not all hope was lost. Today, there are about 40 red wolves in the wild in a small portion of North Carolina, thanks to reintroduction programs. Reintroduction is when animals raised or rehabilitated in human care, like at a zoo or wildlife refuge, are able to be released back into their natural habitat to help their populations rebuild. This has been successfully done with all different types of animals, but it can be difficult work. That's why this red wolf population at the North Carolina Zoo is so important. In front of the scenes, a couple of amazing animal ambassadors help to inform people about their species, while behind the scenes, one pair of wolves just had a litter of pups. You may be wondering where they are. The pups and their parents have very little interaction with keepers and guests. This will help them to be more successful if they're selected to be released back into the wild. The staff at North Carolina Zoo works tirelessly with other zoos and wildlife refuges to help raise the red wolf's wild population, joining San Diego Zoo Global in our fight to end extinction.